Right now, we're kicking it over to our friend, celebrity historian, Rafi Andonian. He's got some great history for us. And then stick around. we got a fun episode. It's all happening later. Yes, basketball season is upon us here in Northwest Arkansas, and Rafi Andonian, our celebrity historian, is back to share a little bit about the origins of the game and how we got to where we are now. Thanks for being here. Welcome back. Of course, I love hoops. Played it growing up yes. in the streets of LA. That's where I grew up and play, grew up watching Shaq and Kobe oh, man. in those years. So, grew up a Lakers fan. Love to talk about hoops. Well, let's rewind a little bit before that. Can you tell us the history, the origin? Where did basketball come from? Of course, James Naismith started, and you might remember that name because there's a Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, which right. exists. It's named after him in Springfield, Massachusetts. They get, he actually is from Canada. Believe it or not, his college degree was in theology. Really? That's right. Okay. And then he went, and I, it's funny because I've seen a lot of people that are inventors. They have backgrounds in things like theology and philosophy. It's funny how these things happen. And yeah. then he went and studied physical education, which was a new developing field and worked under that in Masters and that's how we ended up with the game of basketball looking for a winter sport that was indoors. It's played indoors at a gym, wood floor, it makes sense, right? So that's how the game started in the 1890s, but it looked very different than it does today. What did it look like? Well, for example, you didn't have dribbling, which oh. is fascinating. So you would have to, you know, um, uh, pass the ball. And I would say in some ways it was more violent because there's no dribbling. Did, and, and the three-point line <laughs> came about sometime later as that's well, That's right. right? The three-point line comes about in the 70s and 80s, depending on exactly which game you're looking at. There's college, there's different leagues at some point that are sure. coming out. It doesn't enter the NBA until later, but it's really recent, actually, a three-point shot. And if you listen around, there are whispers in the sports world of a possible four-point shot, if you notice. Well, I know something very near and dear to our hearts here in Northwest Arkansas are the Arkansas Razorbacks, and we all know we won the championship in 1994, but you got some maybe some numbers for us. That's uh, right. Our Razorbacks are pretty rich Arkansas, uh, pretty rich basketball history. Yeah. The men's team, of course, has 14 Sweet 16s, and they have six Final Fours, and of course, the championship you refer to. Yeah. And the women's team has had three Sweet 16s and a Final Four. Yeah. So, it's, you know, you have often a reason to follow basketball here in Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas especially. Okay, that's great. Great history. Rocky, thanks again for joining us. Feeling us in a little basketball history to get us going right here in Northwest Arkansas as we look forward to basketball season happening there on the Hill. Stick around. We got some more fun happening later.